My name is Ariana Nimurundi Grande. We are going to pray. Oh God, let us thank this service for this day, for this, for all people coming, mothers and fathers, children. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. My name is Ashao Oscar. I would like to welcome you all to Children's Church. A special welcome to the children who have joined us today. We thank, we thank, we thank you for joining us. Let's come together, dance, praise, and sing for the Lord. For the theme of today is obedience to the will of God. Thank you. Bye bye. We are going to begin a song called Making Melodies as we begin our service. I'm reading from the book, from the gospel according to Matthew. Matthew chapter 26, verse 36 to 41. Matthew 
chapter 26, verse 36 to 41. It says, Jesus prays in Gethsemane. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to them, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee. Grief and anguish came over him, and he said to them, The sorrow in my heart is so great that it almost crushes me. Stay here and keep watch with me. He went a little further on, threw himself face downwards on the ground, and prayed, My father, if it is possible, take this cup of suffering from me. Yet not what I want, but what you want. Then he returned to the three disciples and found them asleep. And he said to Peter, How is it that you three were not able to keep watch with me even for one hour? Keep watch and pray that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. The word of God. Good morning, church. Good morning, Uncle Nabo. Well, my name is Uncle Nabo Mohirwe. But you can call me Teacher Nabo because I'm your friend. Isn't it, children? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. And since you're friends, we are now going to go through the reading that we have had today. And this story in, uh, who remembers where the reading was taken from today? Who remembers? Who remembers? Jacob? First John chapter 2 verse 17. Is that where our, our reading was taken from? Is that where our reading was taken from? Huh? Is that where our reading was taken from? Nyakato. The reading was taken from the gospel according to Matthew. Aha, uh -huh, the gospel according to Matthew, does it end there? Matthew chapter 26, verse 36. Yes. Matthew chapter 26, verse 36 to 41. Okay? That was our reading for today. And that story, children, has great, great significance in a Christian's life. Okay? That story has great significance in, in the Christian's life because that story happened the night before Jesus was crucified. Okay? So Jesus went to the garden. Eh? He was walking in, in, in the garden of Gethsemane. The garden of Gethsemane with his disciples. What had he gone there to do? Yes. He went there to pray. He went there to pray. Okay? He went there to pray. He went there to pray. But because Jesus, uh, and what, what was his prayer? If you remember what he prayed. If you remember what he prayed. Okay. For the things that will be. He prayed for the suffering for him. Oh. Okay, he prayed, he prayed to God, but I want to somebody who has, yes, carve this. You come and pick this. If you answer well, you get, but I want somebody who knows how Jesus prayed. How Jesus prayed. How Jesus prayed. How Jesus prayed. Let me have Oscar. Jesus, Jesus prayed that... 
How go, would that go? Hey. Take, take this cup of suffering from me. Uh huh. Take this cup of suffering from me. And let it be. Let it not be done in my way, but in your way. Yes, that's important. That is important. Thank you. Thank you, Oscar. Uh, he said, if it's possible, let this cup be taken from me. Huh? Let this cup be taken from me, but not my will, but your will be done. Hmm? What cup was he referring to, children? What cup was he referring to? What cup was he referring to? Cut back. What cup was he referring to? You know, he talked about a cup. He said, if it's possible, let this cup be taken away from me. I, I want you to know what that cup means. What is that cup? That cup is, is part of his blood. Yes? That, that part is part of his blood. Okay, Cutbat has tried, but uh, I want somebody who knows the, the, the cup that Jesus was referring to, the cup that Jesus was referring to, okay, favor. The cup, the cup that Jesus was referring to is the cup of suffering that he would die, so he was asking God to take it away from him, but from God's will, not his own. Exactly. That was, that was the, the cup of suffering, because Jesus was going to suffer what? Death. So he said that if it's possible, let this cup be taken away from me. You know, Jesus came as a human being on earth, but he was also a son of God. Eh? He was also a son of God. Why was he a son of God? Because he knew when he was going to what? He was going to die. So I told you that he said, he went to this garden of Gethsemane be, be, uh, to pray before he was going to die, the night before he was going to die. But he was also, uh, he was also God because he knew when he was going to die. Does any one of you know when they are going to die? See. Jonila, do you know when you are going to die? Um, no. no. Yes. So nobody knows when they are going to die. Thank you, Jonila. So nobody knows when they are going to die, but Jesus knew. He was, because he was the son of God. You know there is God. No, don't open now. Don't open the gifts now. We are going to, we are going to uh, open them after the service. So, uh, Jesus knew when he was going to die. So, as the time approached, as the time approached when he, uh, he was going to die, he prayed, he went to pray, because then he was a human being. He said, God, if it's possible... If it's possible, take this cup away from me. But not my will, but your will be done. Okay? So if I say, who, who wants to go to KFC to eat a bucket of chicken? Who will go? Who will go? By show of hands, who will go to KFC? Ah. Who will go to KFC? All of you, okay? All of you will go to KFC. But when I say, what about if I say, who wants to go for ice cream? Ice cream. Yes, you see, all of you will go. But then, but then, if I say, who wants to die so that I can live? Who wants to die? Uh-huh. Uh huh. You see, you see, no one wants to die, so that they can live. So Jesus, because also Jesus came as a human being, he did not want. He, when it reached the time for his death, he didn't want. He felt he he he, he was a bit scared. He didn't want to die on the cross. He didn't want because the Bible tells us that he sweated blood. How many of you sweat? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You uh -huh. Ariana sweats a lot while running. Jonila sweats. Also this one sweats. Joel sweats. 
Josiah sweats. Oscar, everybody sweats. But then Jesus, do, during this time in that garden, he sweated blood. Can you imagine sweating blood? Aha, uh -huh. Jonila saw it in the TV. He sweated. Aha, uh -huh. they put sons. He went through all that suffering. Why did he go through all that suffering? Why did he go through all that suffering? Uh, who, whoever has not, has, has not talked. Who? Yes? Why did he go through the suffering? Because he, because he was, because yes, because he was caught, but some people were behaving badly. Yes, some people were behaving badly. Yes, but can I have another answer? Thank you so much. Uh, can I have another answer? Why was he going through that suffering? Yes, Nyakato. Because he wanted to save us from sin. Yes, because he wanted to save us from sin to have yes yeah he wanted to save us from sin who uh, so so he wanted to save you and me okay from sin hmm? so had he done anything wrong jesus had not done anything wrong had not done anything wrong but he he, he, he prayed he prayed and said, if it's possible, my father, let this cup be taken away from me. But not my will, but your will be done. Okay? So he was follow, he wanted to do the will of the father in heaven. He wanted to do the will of who? Yes. And that is the greatest act of obedience. Okay? That is the greatest act of obedience. Eh? How, how, how many of you are obedient? Josiah, can you tell us what obedience means? Eh, what, what does it mean to be an obedient child? Being an obedient child is when they tell you to do something, you do it. Aha. Good, Josiah. Yes. When you are an obedient child, like all of us are, whenever they tell you to do something, you do it. You do what? You do it. As an obedient child, you do it. So Jesus was, was doing the will of his father, was following what his father told him. His father told him that he, he should come to die for us, to save us from our sin, as Nyakato has told us. Okay? So, children, I want us to know from that story. Because you know that Jesus went to the cross willingly. Because he was following the will of his father. He was following the will of his father. I like the saying that says that courage, courage is not the absence of fear. But it is the realization that something else is more important than the fear okay courage is not the absence of fear but it is the realization that something else is more important so jesus went to the cross willingly because he was he realized that the will of his father what his father had told him was more important than the fear he had because I told you that when he got that fear, he was a human being like you and me. But he went on willingly. He went to the cross willingly. He was not dragged. He was not pushed. He went willingly to the cross. How many of you would go willingly to die? No, you wouldn't. Would you die? No, you wouldn't go willingly. Some of us would run away. When you say you are going to die, you would run away. Because that is... So Yes, Katbat says at a 100 speed. So now, children, from that story, I want us to I want to see what do you and what do you what is the what are the lessons that you get from that story. And I want to uh, see the the children who have not answered. What is, what is the lesson from the story? 
Jesus is the story. Jesus, yes. Thank you, thank you. Uh huh. I give her the microphone. Whoever has not talked. I yes. learned to have faith in God. Yes, one of the lessons is to have faith in God. Okay? Faith in God. Jesus had faith in his father. Huh? Jesus had faith in his father. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Nyangoma. Another lesson? Have you talked? Okay. Another lesson we learn from that story, that Bible, that Bible reading. The cross. Yes? The cross. The cross. Yes. What do we learn from the cross? That Jesus accepted the cross. Accepted willingly to go to the cross. Thank you. Thank you. Ariana, thank you. Yes. So we have heard that that um, that we Jesus went to the cross willingly. And if you are sent by your parents, do you go willingly? Not all the time, but you need to be uh, need to be willing, because Jesus was willing to do what his father sent him. So you need to willingly go when your parents, when your teachers send you. Okay, as obe as as obedient children. Yes, I learned to be obedient. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you, Oscar. Come here. That is the most important lesson for this, for this day. That you have to be obedient to your father, to your parents, eh? to, your, to, your, to your teachers. When your, yes, to your mother. When your mother sends you, be obedient. When, when your, 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 your teacher sends you at school, Yes, when your brother, yes, your, when your brother sends you, be obedient. Yes, when your sister sends you, you will be obedient. Okay? And when your mother sends you, be obedient. What other lesson do we learn? Yes? Yes. Josiah? We learn to pray not to fall into temptation. Yes, that's one other important, you see? Jesus had gone to the garden to pray. Okay? What had Jesus gone to the garden to do? Pray. How many of you pray? By show of hands, let me, let me see. Yes. Yes, Erika, do you pray? Yes, you pray. Okay, everybody prays. Everybody prays. So you need to pray. And it also teaches us, this story teaches us that you can pray alone or you can pray with the rest of your friends. Because you see, Jesus went to his, with his disciples. Huh? With his disciples. And... <clears throat> yes, yes. Okay. Okay, yes. So he went with his disciples to pray. But so he went ahead and prayed. Eh? So you need to, you pray, you can pray alone, or you pray with people. You pray together as a family at home? Yes. Okay, that's good. That's good, because that's how, the, uh, that's how Jesus taught us. Okay, what is the other lesson? The other lesson, yes. Oscar. What is the other lesson? We learn to put God first in every situation. Yes, we learn to put God first in every situation. But you remember that he, when he was going to pray, he left his disciples there and told them to keep watch as he went to pray. Did they keep watch? What did they do? What did they do? Uh, okay. Uh, what did they do? The disciples that he left behind, when he told them to keep watch, did they keep watch as he told them? No. What did they do? They fell asleep. Yes, that is good. They fell asleep. Okay? And that teaches us that the body, the body can, uh, uh, that's why the Bible tells us from what we have read that the body 
that the, the body is weak, but the spirit is willing. The disciples wanted to, uh, to keep watch and pray with the Jesus, but the body was weak, they fell asleep. So that teaches us that the body has so many distractions, okay? It has so many distractions. Yeah, they, 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 the body is weak. So it teaches us to control the body. Because if you don't control the body, you will fall into temptations, like Josiah said. You will fall into temptation. So how many of you, if, for instance, you get homework from school, and when you reach at home, you don't do homework, and you are, you, you are, you are distracted by, you go and, oh, to the TV, okay, you do it, uh-huh, you are a good girl, sit down. So you, you, you go to the, you go and then watch PJ Max. Mm -hmm. eh? You watch PJ Max. Eh, then, then when you go to school and teach us homework, what do you do? You can sweat. Eh? You can sweat like, uh huh. You tell lies, and and telling lies is that, is that good? So you need to avoid distractions. Okay. Things that distract you from what you are supposed to do. If you want good grades, do you pay attention in class? Yes. So what else do you do if you want good grades at school? Yes? Yeah. Uh, yes? We stay and learn. We stay, you stay and learn, yes? Josiah, jo, jo, where you are? What do you do? We listen to what our teachers tell you us. listen to what your teachers tell you. Yes, Oscar? We pay attention in class. We pay attention, yes. Joel? We listen to the teachers what they say. You listen to the teachers what they say. Yes, a favor? And keep on revising even though the teachers are not there. Yes. Okay, Cuthbert? Always read your books. Yes, you always read your books, you revise. Okay, give her, she wants to say something. Yes, what do you do? Play. Yes, what do you do? I read homework. Yes, she does her homework. That's good. Yes? You make sure that you finish your work. Yes, you make sure that you finish your work. Yes? You make sure you're on time for every activity. Yes, you make sure that you're on time for every activity. So all these are good. Uh, yes, you have something? And when you, when, you, when you finish your work, your teacher can give you some. Yes. So now, these are very, very good because it teaches us that in order to achieve our goals, in order to achieve our goals, we need to stay focused on what we are told to do. We need to finish our, our assignments. Okay? Like Jesus was determined, eh? even though he, he went through untold suffering in that garden, he was determined to do the Father's will. And the will of the Father was to die for us on the cross so that we can be saved. Okay? And that is the most important lesson for today that we be obedient even when it's difficult we be obedient we follow through because we are doing the will of our father we be obedient to our parents to our guardians and above all to god who is the author who is the creator of our lives okay okay children yes, yes. so now we are going to go through the memory verse of today and then we, we, we close. What? So we are going to say the memory verse of today. Do you all remember the memory verse? Yes. Okay. We are going to go through it now. Okay. So let's start. Who is leading us? Who is leading us? Who, whoever has, has a microphone, lead us. Favor and, and what's your name? Yes. Yes, right. Okay, so you are going to lead us in our memory verse. In our memory verse. First John chapter 2. Okay, let's all say together. First, First John, John chapter, chapter 2, two verse, verse 17. 17. 
The world and its desires pass away, but the man who does the will of God lives forever. First John chapter 2 verse 17. Wow. Clap yourself for yourselves. And a big hand clap to God. Hello children. My name is Heaven of Sober. There is no peace on earth. There is peace in Christ as we give our offer to today. Children's Church will now be online every Sunday starting at 8.25 a.m. online only. See you there. Children, please prepare your offertory during the week so when it is time to give. We can all give to the Lord. The Lord loves a cheerful giver. Children, please sign up to participate in the Children's Church activities. This church for children by children. We have 15 slots every Sunday. COVID is still there and dangerous, therefore wear a mask. Parents who would like to get actively involved in children's church are very welcome. Sign up with Dr. Estella and rise with us. Bye. My name is Kasbat Muhumza Nunu. And I would like to pray. Almighty God, Almighty God, we thank you for this day. Pray for children's church. Pray for, pray for, pray for everyone. Pray for in, everyone in this earth. Don't don't let any bad things or the devil come near us. We take away the bad things that come here. Leave a, take away the bad guys that you can stay safe in this place. As we thank the don't touch for it. Amen. Oh Lord, you thank you for this day. You thank you for our parents, Lord. You thank you for children's church, Lord. You thank you for teaching, teaching us in business, Lord. 
and thank you for our school, Lord, in Jesus' name. I pray it. Amen. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.